in this video, we're gonna go explore a black bear den my buddy Brenton found while shed hunting. And then we're gonna head out to a reclaimed strip mine and do some rabbit hunting. This is gonna be a fun one. Let's get into it. All right, so we're about to do something pretty interesting. The other day, Brenton was in here shed hunting and uh, well, I'll, I'll let you tell it. Yeah, um, just out here looking for antler shed hunting and come across a bear den with a sow and I don't know well, how many. Wait, wait, tell them about what you heard. Okay, okay. Because he called me right after it happened. Okay, so yeah. I'm shed hunting and I hear what I'm thinking is a purr. So like I'm thinking, I don't know, coyote pups. Bobcat. Bobcat something. Yeah. And it's there's a bunch of downed trees up here where it's been timbered. So I'm cutting through a briar thicket and getting closer to see what it is. And bam, pops up a sow's head with her cubs in a den. So she popped up and like looked at you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what we're gonna try to do is, I do not, let me get this clear. I, I want it to be super clear. I do not want to disturb them, but we're gonna to try to get a trail camera, a cell camera, actually a, a tacticam, up where we can get a, you know, photos and videos of that den, but away from it where we don't disturb them. So we're gonna to try to slip up here, get this camera out without getting attacked by a bear or upsetting you know, these sow and cubs. Pe people often think that like, when bears go into hibernation, they just sit there and sleep until spring, which is not the case. They get out, move around, and hopefully we'll be able to document and show you that. The one thing I'm worried about is having service. I'm not sure down here in the bottom of this hollow if we're gonna get service, but if we do or if we don't, we'll be able to get the footage and stuff off the SD card. So let me grab this camera and we'll head up. They'll probably unplug it, but this has lithiums in it. All right, we're going to try to slip up here. How far is it from here? Probably 100 yards, I'd say. 100 yards? Yeah. Okay. It actually may be further because I didn't come off off the hill here. Okay. Is that the brush pile? It was to my left. I'm trying to make sure that this is certainly it. Don't take me 100%, but I'm pretty sure this is it. Okay. Something similar to this where it split and I was gonna go up. It's definitely not it. Okay. Well, we might be able to find it. This looks more like it. If this is it, they're right there. Okay. Like, I was walking to cut in between this and get on Max Log Road. Yeah. We were in the left. So, we can't see where they're at until we get right up within 10 yards of them. Okay. We'll just take our time. I mean, you know what it looks like, so.
you see him? You can, I saw her. She's right there, Kirk. I can hear her purring again. Okay, let's be real quiet. Listen. What? I don't like this. We're fine. Thirteen yards. If you step there, you'll see her. Okay. I don't like it. Brand, Brand saw the sow. She was awake. She was awake. Just take her in there. I'll boat up. Okay, there's a there's a little white oak right here. I'm gonna get the camera on that white oak. Kate, okay, you stay right here. You can smell them. Listen to them burn when you get up there. You'll... Yeah. Oh, I hear it. I don't like this. I hear them. You can hear them. So look, I'm gonna zoom in on them right here. Hold this. You're not gonna be able to see them. I'm gone. What am I supposed that, to do? Run. Don't worry about me. Get him. And I'm fast. I'll leave him. That tree wouldn't work. You just can't. 
I can't get that bear on video because she's in there sleeping. I can see her not moving. There's no way to get the audio of the, the cubs purring. It's just too quiet, but I'm going to slip up here and let you all see her. So that's her, what you're looking at right there. She's just in that brush pile, not moving at all. That's the sun barely touching her fur. And the cubs are somewhere in there with her. But we're probably, where I'm standing right now is probably 15 yards. We're not bothering them one bit. And the camera is right there on the tree. Just be pointed at their den. Let's get out of here. So we made it back to the truck, uninterrupted. It went exactly as planned, besides Brenton kind of couldn't find it at first. More importantly, we're alive. <laughs> he seen, thinks this is no big deal, but I wasn't worried. Tore up. If you notice, we're not carrying any weapons, because even if she charged at us, it was our own fault, so I was just going to deal with it, because last thing I was going to do. I mean, we, we provoked it, I guess, if something were to happen. So we went in there unarmed, um, which I wasn't worried. I knew she was probably going to be... I don't want to say asleep, but just they're just super lethargic and you would almost have to get on top I mean, how close were you? That's what I was gonna ask when you yeah. found them. How close were you the first time? So I had to I was five yards closer than we were today. Wow I mean like in those logs at the edge of the logs is when I was looking in, in there and, and just saw a so black blob well, She'd turn her, and look at you. I saw her face. That's when I because it was dark. Yeah, you don't think it's a bear Then I seen that brown face look at me. and I was like, oh, that's a bear. Yeah, so that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know if this is going to be like a multi-part video where I'm just going to put it together and make one big video. But regardless, we're going to keep you all updated and see what happens here. We've got a camera on them in a pretty good location. Like I'm happy with that. Obviously, it's not like in the hole because there's no way. I mean, we could have tried to put a camera in the hole. But at that point, we risk jumping that sow up and she comes out after us or something like that. And the whole the whole purpose of this is just to kind of document it and see how often they come out, come in and out of there. Um, she should come out that direction and those cubs should be out moving around, I would say in the next couple months. But uh, the goal, number one goal was not to disrupt them and that's exactly what we did. So that's pretty cool. That's yeah. not something you come across. And, and something that like a lot of people think is like they're in a cave or some hole in the ground. Right. That was not the case there. She had those, she had her cubs, which we didn't show them on video. All, all I could get on video was like, her fur, like the sun was hitting it there. Yeah. That this this holler right here has been timbered. How long ago you think? Uh five to six years ago. Yeah. And so there's down trees and stuff from where they were in here timbering all over the place and they're just up under a big treetop there. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with it. Either way, that's pretty cool. So we're mixing it up this morning. A lot of y'all been asking for some rabbit hunts, and that's what we're gonna do. I'll introduce you all to the guys we're hunting with here directly, but check that out. Y'all ready to go? We're at the gas station getting fueled up. They're in there grabbing some McDonald's biscuits. We're about to get on the road. You ready to go? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's my man, Caden. He is a cameraman in training. <sighs> so.
so what where we're gonna go is there's this bowl right here it's got a bunch of green briar green it's actually got a lot of grass in it too we'll just hunt this face all the way down it, it's a pretty spot okay. it looks in my opinion it looks a lot better than this but anything you all see today that we're going past you want to hit i ain't a rabbit hunter so y'all speak up and we'll go i'm gonna throw my vest on real quick all right let's get the Frankie out So this is a Franke 48 AL Deluxe 28 gauge. Today it's going to be the rabbit gun. Let's get back here and see what they're into. All right, what's your name, buddy? Daniel. Daniel, nice to meet you. Kirk. And this is Dusty and Sean. Dusty. Yep. Have, I, have, we, have we met before? Uh, I've been around with you a couple times. Okay. All right. Well, there's a, normally a lot of people bear hunting, so it makes sense why I don't remember. Which one's that? It's white tail. White tail. Did you name it for the white tail, or it likes to run deer? <laughs> white tail again. <laughs> I'm gonna throw these bibs on real quick. That's 11 years old. No, wow, it's not gray at all. Well, it seems to be working. Her teeth gone. Yeah. Teeth. <laughs> Man, she's beautiful. Be 11. What was your name again, buddy? Daniel. Daniel. I'll have to ask you 15 times. I'm horrible with names. Here we go. Already. <laughs> right off with my GoPro in the truck. I'm going to hop up here and grab it. All right, we got, I think we got one up. So they crossed the road. We actually went over right here and then they came right back across the road with it. When we were looking down, it must've crossed. It sounds like they're turned back this way. We're all spread out on the berm here. Right there, right there. Rolled it. Let's go. <laughs> Missed the first shot. Got him on the second. Did a little double team there. There we go. One down. Hey, you caught it. Less than five minutes. I missed it in the ditch. I got it just for a second in the ditch. We got another one going. Let me throw this in your vest. Let's get loaded back up real quick. Get back up here where we can see something. Oh yeah. One down. That's sweet, honestly. Glad I killed it in the road. You can see it actually. They got it. They got it. Yep. Yeah, they got it. Oh, come here. Number two. Daniel, did you kill it? Yeah. Good deal. That's two down. Man, off to a good start. See if we got it. We hit it. We're, there's fur right here. Yep. There he is. Is it down? Yep. Yeah, it's down. We got it. Three. <laughs> Just like that. Let me stick that in there real quick. Caden, cameraman and rabbit carrier. I don't have a vest. Cause I got something better, I got a chest harness. 
You can get yours at kirkbrice.com. All right, we're going to get them back on the side that we started. Yeah, that got exciting quick. Did we quick. make it within five minutes? Oh, you <laughs> made it within five minutes, that's for sure. We got three within five minutes. I can tell it's smelling it, though. All right. They just hollered and said they got one. Got one more, too. Let's get in the middle of them here. Make sure this is rolling. Let's get down here in the road. They got that side covered. Sounds like these dogs went quiet unless they went over the hill. These are still rolling. Did you hear it? Yeah, it just went right through there. You saw it? Yeah, them cattails. Okay. You saw it? I'm pretty sure it's a rabbit, yeah. They're going right towards it. Yeah, they just dropped right down in there. Alright, it'll come out of there then. Okay, first I get ready. In the road. In the road. He's going to get it on that bank. Come on, come over here. I just saw it. I just saw it right there. Hey, there's a big rock pile right there. Dang, we saw it just for a second. It went in some rocks. Sound, these, dog, these dogs have gotta be running another one. Yeah. There we go. Could this be number four? Man, that was a poke. Look at him go. He got it. There we go. Number four. We sh that should be number five. This one here got in a hole on us. And they're already after another one. This is the rut field where they're all at. It sounds like they're headed back this way. Sean's cheating. Look at him up there. Here we go. Come on. I got it right here. It's right here. I ain't gonna shoot yet, Sean. Go this way. <laughs> oh, I... You got him. I got it that time for sure. Yeah. Where's it at? Hard to find in this grass. I, it flopped. You think more this way? Yeah. Oh shoot. No way. Man, it flopped, didn't it? They got it. Okay. Yeah, I hear him growling. Yeah, there it is. That one's got it. <laughs> Come here. Hey. Quit. Quit. Hey. There we go. He was trying to get to them rocks. Good dogs, good dogs, good dogs. Yeah. Oh, that's right there, yeah. All right. Is that number five? Number five. Number five is a party.
That was a poke for a 28 gauge. I was real confident, you know, and I should have known better. Where I could see it, I was like, it can't get away. And what's it do? It turns like back in, in, yeah. instead of coming straight across. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was gonna come out like right across the road there, so I was hesitant because I don't want to shoot towards them. But it worked out. They love his flight. Just about anywhere you'll see it with bird there. Okay, so this is a rabbit turd? Yeah. They don't look like deer, they're round. Right. Instead of more oval shaped like a deer. Yeah. I mean, about anywhere you look, you'll see them. And they just like this clover in here? He just said it looks like these dogs over here are tracking. They are. You see them getting all in a line there. The tail's going crazy. There it is. There we go. They got that, we'll, we'll go down. Got one jump, looks like they're heading down in the valley field. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Came back behind us. Sean shot right, right where we were at. Rookie mistake. Did you get it? Good deal. That was it, let's go take a look. There you go, hold it up. Zoom in on it. We're on a roll. See if we can keep it moving. Why, wow, man? Oh, he's in my bag. Okay. You get it in there. Yep. Hold that gun real quick, Katie. On the roll, Will. What is that, six? I, I lose count. Is that six or seven? Uh, I think six. Yeah, I think six. Six down. Here we go, we're sitting here talking, got another one jumped. Man, they're moving. They're going through the, that rock core. Come here, you can get them. Yep, went in them rocks probably. This dog's coming up out of here like he's got it. I'd say this is another one. I'd like to see it circle back right here. Yep. Right here. It dead. Get it, Daniel. <laughs> That's all double tap, Daniel. Hold it up there. You busted him. I missed him. I did. I missed it bad. <laughs> Another one down. Daniel busted him. Go up here and show him to the camera. Hold him up. There we go. How many is that for you? <laughs> that number two? Two. Good deal. That's a big one there. You gonna eat that? Probably. I'll run out there. Get ready. Here it is, here it is. Flip flopped it. Oh, we're on a roll now. Here you go, here you go. He dead, he dead. He dead, y'all got him. Y'all got him. Oh, he got him, you got him. Here it is. Here it is. Add this to Caden's Hall. Good dogs. Oh, we're on fire now. We got the honey hole. Put another shell in here. We're gonna switch sides. Finally wear this spot out. No 
no wonder they're going to here. Look at all these rocks. I'm guessing this one went in that rock pile. There's a lot of places for a rabbit. I just saw it. I just saw it. Get ready. There we go. Get him, Daniel. Get him. Right there, you passed it. Right behind you. There you go. There you go. You smoked him, son. <laughs> Let me put it in your pack for you. Yeah. Good shooting. Oh, you might get it. But... I did not. You smoked it. You shot first, didn't you? Double tap Daniel got it. He shot twice, I shot once. He's tough. We're continuing on. Double tap Daniel beat me on that one. I about, I about tagged out for the day. Right there, right there. Got it that time. Right in here. Think you got it. I got it for sure. I got it. It may have kept moving that second time. The second shot. Here's first. Got there it. it is, there it is, yeah. We got it. Here we go. Oh, that's it for me. I've killed five. Caden, there you go, buddy. <laughs> True show now, son. Well, that's it for me. You can only kill five. My man Caden's behind the trigger now. I'm going to load it up for him real quick. Baby or now. That's my special gun. Ain't that right? Right there, right there, right there. Okay, okay, the Get him. Get him. Get him. There, 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 there. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's up that hill. Yeah, he done, he done over. Yeah. yeah, just on that, that other side of that big autumn olive. Yeah. The, the second one on the top. He may have hit it with a shot there that last time. I couldn't tell. Trying to move, on to move. Did he get it? Yeah. Good deal. Dang, Caden, that could have been yours. Should have shot better. <laughs> That was quite the day. I want to see two dogs. I want to see, where's the real old one? And then the people like to see that Jack Russell Beagle mix you got. It's a good day. Sean has a dog that's 13. We talked about it right there at the beginning. Andy's got one that's a, you say Jack Russell and a Beagle? Yep. Crossed? Jack Russell and a Beagle. That's the only one you got mixed up? Yeah. yeah. Huh. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Pretty good day. That's a good day. I ain't complaining. I killed three. How many? You killed five. How many you killed? Three? I only killed, I think, one. He was nice. He's letting us kill him. <laughs> so you got you got plenty of rabbits I can, I can take them? Oh, yeah. Take them, take them all. That cool with you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how y'all got, got the freezer full. You gonna help me grab him? Uh oh. Hey, hey. I'm gonna help you control right <laughs> <laughs> You know how skin them, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Alrighty, thank y'all. Had a good time. Alright, we'll go again. Sounds good. Hey, take it easy, big dog. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. What an awesome day. We had a great time. At first, we didn't kill a single rabbit until 11 o'clock, and then we killed 11, so it was meant to be. We're gonna get these skinned out real quick, and then we're gonna eat them tonight. Real simple, guys. We make it simple, but it tastes delicious. So we've got cut up pieces of rabbit, just in little chunks, similar to what you do to a turkey. Canola oil heating up. We've got flour, and in here we've got an egg, buttermilk, and hot sauce. So it's super simple, so 
We just take a piece of rabbit, you put it in your, your sauce, and you can make that any way you want to. Roll it around in the flour. All right, now we're just gonna take our coated pieces of rabbit. Ooh, drop it in there. We'll keep doing that, and then we'll start pulling them out. You can check it with the temperature gauge, but I just cook it like chicken, so I get it to 165. You may not have to go to that much. I don't know, but this is what I go to. And uh, once it's nice and golden brown, we'll pull it out and eat. Let's pull one out and see where we're at. They're looking, they're looking golden brown. Oh, get a closer look at that. That looks like a chicken nugget from Chick-fil-A. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, we're way done, we're way done. Probably a little overcooked with that little guy. Let's start pulling them out. They're starting to float and they got that golden brown look to them. All right, so there is our final product. And if you ask me, it looks delicious. Going to give it a little taste test. Sweet and sour sriracha. Oh, hot. I did the spot. Topped off with my personal favorite, a little Topo Chico. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see different. Season is almost out, small game season, so I might transition into some fishing videos or something like that. Just let me know. Until the next one.